Good evening, folks. Meet Karen. Karen works at NASA. Karen is the director of the Earth Science Division at NASA, and if you follow the chain up from NASA's climate blog, the buck finally stops here, both logically and expressly. Dear Karen, the blog posted this article on August 3rd. We responded and we were not at all shy about expressing the numerous failures of that article. The climate website team responded to a lot of people, basically with a form copy and paste response. They signed it and it was done hastily with even more egregious shortcomings than the original article. The overwhelming consensus so far is that my response to their response was not just a lost battle for the climate blog, but an utter embarrassment to the organization. According to the chain of command, you sit on top, and according to the letter response your team made, you yourself review the articles to be published on the blog. So ultimately, this comes to you, Karen St. Germain. You didn't write the article or the response to my initial video, but ultimately, like the president or the CEO, the buck stops with you. Now, Karen, I would love to avoid the half-baked, half-response I received from your team the first time, so to be clear. The August 3rd article is in question. We reviewed thoroughly the problems with that article, the science purported to control the thinking, and we also added our letter to the geophysical community from August 10th. It was meant to expand and go beyond that climate discussion. Now watch that video, read the letter, and then go review what your team sent around behind our backs to God knows how many people. Then, take close notice of what we pointed out in this video. We took our time, addressed every word, and it was a thorough academic deconstruction of nearly every aspect of the article and the response letter your team wrote. And this includes things that they didn't address from our response, like this one, indicative of zero understanding of the current state of the science on the global electric circuit, the paramagnetic nature of oxygen, or the basic interactions of electricity and water. And this paragraph, which was not only out of place, but is scientifically preposterous, ignoring thousands of peer-reviewed articles. Also, don't gloss over the lack of care and how they misinterpreted Finlay 2020, at which some of our high school viewers are having a great laugh at your expense. I can give you a copy of our book, but you could ask one of the 37 NASA employees who bought it or the previous edition. I've watched this sort of narrowly focused, bad faith science endure for too long. Interdisciplinary perspectives and thousands of peer-reviewed papers cannot be ignored. And frankly, we all deserve an explanation for the failings of that article and especially for the letter response your team sent around behind our backs. Science ignored, science botched, Studies cherry-picked to fit a paradigm rather than the totality of what is available. In theory, you could hope to ignore these failings and hope they go away. But we're not, and maybe it's better we just get this over with now. There were a lot of issues we identified. We'd like to see them addressed. And given the reality of the totality of the available literature, the downplaying of the ongoing geomagnetic secular variation of this planet is tantamount to something a bit beyond a mistake. Now. Since I can't find Karen's email, I'll put the link below to their contact page where you should type in the subject line something about demanding an explanation and in the body, honestly just put a link to this video. No need to say anything else unless you also want to give them my email, which ultimately they will need. Until then, right now this was the last moment in the interaction and it's not a good look for NASA. What I would love is to break this down one-on-one -on -one with someone which I have asked for politely in vain for a decade. We have been ignored. And now, to watch more poor science, poorly defended, behind our backs to our viewers, is just super low. I've asked for an academic discussion for a decade. NASA, I think it's about time. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.